I want to be where the people are. I want to be where the lighting does not keep changing. Okay, wait, I have a bag that has like a stuffed bear in it. Look, isn't it so cute? Hey guys, welcome to Grace's channel. <laughs> okay, that was weird. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, if you've watched any of my other crochet knitting videos, you know those projects tend to span weeks, sometimes months. My last video took three months and that is not okay. A, because how am I supposed to post regularly? But B, because it's more a function of my personality, like I crochet and knit very fast. I just choose these overly ambitious projects and I'm also a perfectionist. I will like undo and redo it 12 times, which naturally adds to the timeline. So I thought it'd be a good character development exercise to force myself to make something in a shorter time frame to be more specific one day, which sounds ambitious, but I think we can do it. Now, if you're at all familiar with my style, you'll know that I mostly wear the things I make in the summer, like silly little itty bitty tops like this, not really a sweater cardigan gal. The only kind of sweater I really wear is a very oversized open knit. There's this gray sweater that I'm like obsessed with. So I wanna make something along those lines. I was planning to freehand it like I usually do, but my friend Kara, Art by Carolee's Amazing Fiber Arts creator, who also happens to be my next door neighbor. She has a basic open knit pattern and was kind enough to send it my way. You can call it cheating or you can call it being resourceful and having super awesome friends. I don't know what is with me and the finger guns as of late. Now the pattern calls for a worst, worsted, worsted. Wor Why does that word sound so weird coming out of my mouth? Whatever, like a wait for yarn. So I'm gonna be using the Loops and Threads Facets yarn. This is one of my favorite yarns from Michaels because it is an acrylic, but it has a look and feel of a natural fiber. I used a different color of this to knit like a little baby tee skirt set and then bought this yarn in like five different colorways. And for needles, we are using 12 millimeter needles. I like always use really small hooks needles. So these are so girthy to me but it will also help the project move along a lot faster. I got the magic in me. Cute, sexy in my ride sport. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I just realized that it's already afternoon. So for a one day challenge, I really gave myself a bit of a late start. It's currently 1228. So let's get started, boys. Woo, get hype. Okay. Six. Seven. Did I cast on too many? Wait, two, four, six. Two thousand years later. I think that's a hundred. Okay, I think from here, I just like knit in the round to make like the main body portion. Easy enough. I normally hold my needles like between my thumb and my index finger, like, like pencil, but I might have to hold it like this because needles are so big that like, my normal grip is just... No, I'm gonna do it my normal way, actually. I changed my mind. I, I did take a few breaks to handle other things, but this is not promising for two hours of knitting. I don't know if this sweater is getting finished today, guys. Look how pretty it's working up though. I'm telling you this yarn goes crazy. I'm so excited. Now Kara texted me and we're gonna go knit together at a coffee shop, which is funny because I'm gonna be making her pattern while sitting next to her, but I wanna make myself a quick snack and then I'll head out. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to do this with one hand and it's like... Okay, okay, just... It's not any better. No, look Here, at we'll this. Oh. You dum dum. <laughs> Wait, Hi. you you take it. Show them. I need to show them my teddy my teddy bear bag. It's so cute. <laughs> We're going to Wind Sun, which is where I always go in my I vlogs. I always go there too. We seem to go very like every other day. Yeah, I don't know how I've to run into you. Too. <laughs> you and your giant mouth. So good. What did that mouth do? I'm about to fuck this up! Baby, I couldn't fall asleep again I'm not thinking all the little things I said I'm asleep with five months every night And I wish that I wouldn't think instead I know the sun is up and I got things to do But I don't think I've got the energy to move 
and then I go back to my dreams again But I shouldn't be sleeping It's still in now and I'm stuck in my bed Still in now and I'm stuck in my head Cause I've been just not all on my own And I should make my way out of my home It's still in now, gotta open my eyes Still in now, can't be wasting my time Just thinking about what I should be thinking of it's about time that I get Yarn home! Okay, show them what you got. Okay. I got this blue First one. one. And okay, we're doing close ups. Close, like the makeup goo. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> and then a second one. Hand dyed. It's like pinky tones. You should have got the green tones. Yeah. Like we got the fairly the odd parents. Yes. Okay, I've finished the like body. Part, see here because I want it to be cropped and so now I just need to work the front and the back panels and then do sleep you're shaking my camera I'm sorry <laughs> uh, maybe I will finish you will finish I think you're fine you're on track for real oops, for real oops, oops. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Come every time you come around my London, London bridge when I go down my London, London, London. I really thought you were gonna join in at some point. I don't know the lyrics to that one. That's the one. That's the song where I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> Okay, I'm back home. Now, if you're trying to finish a project in one day, is it a good idea to just run all over the city? Probably not. So I'm gonna blame Kara for that one. It gets worse though. I get home, I had like the front and back panels done basically, only to find that I'd followed the pattern wrong. Again, maybe because I was running all over the city. The correct thing to do would have been like, it's not a big deal, let's just move forward. Um. I, I started undoing all of it. Ha <laughs> ha So this whole idea of me trying to not do the very characteristic Grace thing in this video is failing. Further complication, it's almost 11 p.m. and I might go out tonight spontaneously because my friends are going, which also doesn't really help things. And I might just bring my knitting to the club, which is probably gonna upset my friends, but what can they do about it? Okay, here's my thinking. I said finish a sweater in a day. I didn't say like a day as in Saturday. A day is 24 hours. So maybe if I go like X Games mode tomorrow morning, I could still hit my goal. Not me sitting in my room by myself just trying to make excuses for myself. Yeah, so it's 1227, which means this whole 24 hour one day thing is a little... I'm retitling this video trying to knit a sweater in one weekend, okay? Same, same idea. Now this is where we're at. The front panel is done correctly this time. And so it's just back panel and sleeves. So I really think will be pretty straightforward now that I actually have a grasp on the pattern. And I'm about to head to a cafe to meet up with my friend Tim and give him this vest I knit him. This is one of my other YouTube videos, if you wanna watch that. So I'm gonna have some time to just grind and I really feel like I can finish the sweater today. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Wednesday, which means it's day four, day five. 
my goodness. Now, in my defense, I actually think I could have finished over the weekend, but you're supposed to like work the sleeves directly off these armholes, right? And my needles were just a little bit too long for that. So I had to order these shorter needles and I was waiting for them to arrive. So it's not really my fault. But yeah, all I have to do is work up these sleeves and then it'll be done in no time. It's almost like it's only been a day. <sighs> all right, let's do me a solid and not even talk about what day it is at this point. All that matters is that we have a finished sweater. Also, I'd like to point out the fact that I'm actually wearing a top I crocheted. I've been really good about that this summer. Okay, I wanna do a try on. Is it gonna look weird if I just put it on over what I have now? I feel like you won't really be able to tell. <gasps> wait, wait, what is happening? This is so cute. This is why I've been wanting to make Kara's pattern for so long. I just love the fit. It's kind of like oversized, a little cropped. You can wear it off the shoulder. It honestly looks pretty cute with this like denim skirt belt situation that I already have going on. <gasps> Wait, you know, this would look really cute with. One second, where is it? This pansy tote I just finished crocheting. It's like kind of the same color scheme. Okay, wait, this is a little bit of an aggressive fiber arts outfit, but whatever, you get the vision. I always say there are pieces that I make to make and there are pieces that I make to wear. And this is one of those rare instances where I know I will actually reach for this in my closet. I think I'm gonna remake it in black, which is boring, but I just feel it could be a good closet staple. I also really love these thin knits because they're perfect for like festivals or long days because you can just bunch it up into a tiny ball and chuck it in your bag. And then once the sun sets, you can throw it on and it will keep you surprisingly warm. Now reflecting on the whole one day timeline thing, I think I may have overcompensated and went from choosing overly ambitious projects to choosing an overly ambitious timeline. That being said, I did finish this in like three-ish working days, which is still significantly better than three months. I just tend to get excited by projects that are very large undertakings, but I'm realizing now that more manageable things like this from time to time is a good morale boost and a good break for my Virgo mind. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me not meet my goal. Definitely purchase Kara's pattern if you want to make the same sweater, we can twin. And as always, feel free to follow my other socials at Amazing if Grace to see what I'm up to day to day. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah, yeah. Marshall. So what you know about teamwork? <laughs>